Today, we're going to talk about 20 of the most popular crypto coins. Some of them are scams and some of them are awesome. Some of them are going to change the world and some of them are going to change the financial outlook for the people who created them as they pull the rug out from under you. Yes, 20 incredibly popular crypto coins we are going to break down today in Operation Crypto. All right, let's go ahead and kick it off with Ethereum. Where does Ethereum rank? Well, Ethereum is obviously an OG. It has been around for a long time. It was invented by, a lot of people would say, a pretty brilliant individual. And Ethereum currently is a staple. Frankly, I got to put Ethereum at S tier just because a huge portion of the altcoins, a huge portion of crypto in general needs Ethereum. Now, uh, there's obviously some issues with Ethereum, high gas fees, the way it's structured. Now, Ethereum is creating some updates and upgrades, and we have notably some other coins on this very list that are looking at taking out Ethereum, taking some of its thunder. But as of right now, I think we're just going to put an S tier because frankly, Ethereum is a very vital coin in the crypto universe getting into number two is bitcoin now bitcoin literally and i do mean this literally has a cult like following it is followed probably by cults people get really mad when you diss bitcoin but fact is bitcoin is probably becoming the vcr of crypto technology it is property and there is no exact the entire crypto market is in a gray area from a legal sense, and that is a problem. And the United States government, along with other governments, recently came out and said, no, we didn't say explicitly that Bitcoin is property, saying that they're actually looking at challenging Bitcoin. Now, all that aside, where does Bitcoin fall? Well, it's got the marquee brand name, a huge portion of crypto investors start with Bitcoin. There's a huge amount of big investors where Bitcoin is one of maybe one or one of two or three coins that is in their portfolio. It is certainly the biggest crypto. So we have to take that into account. While the technology and the use cases are not getting any better, the name is staying the same. So with Bitcoin, I think what we're going to do is give it a B. I think that's the best we're going to be able to give it unless it's because see the problem with cryptocurrency is it's not typically used as currency, and so you need to keep that in mind. So I think B for Bitcoin is the best we're going to be able to do on this list. Should you invest in it? I mean, it's so debatable. Bitcoin could go up a lot, and there's a lot of people who swear it will, although they've been saying that since 2017, and it goes up a little and down a little and up a little, and then some people say it's going to crash. And so regardless, should you be in Bitcoin? You know, you, you invest in whatever you want to invest in, but personally, Bitcoin is kind of starting to see the sun set on a little bit, especially with all these coins. And when crypto really gets some of this institutional money, Bitcoin's going to have a jump and then it's just going to flatten out. And if it's not deemed property, Bitcoin's going to have some serious problems because that's its only value at this point. And so we're going to do that. Theta. Now, here's the thing. Decentralized video network is something we need the video platforms on the internet on web 2.0 are not that impressive. They are being censored left and right and it's very unfortunate. We need decentralized video platforms. We need a blockchain where videos can go up. We don't need central control and we don't need these people able to take down channels and videos. Theta is definitely looking like an A. I think they have the potential for S tier in my opinion, but of course we got to see more use case and we got to see where it's going. But as far as value and solving a problem, I am invested in Theta. I am invested in Ethereum. I am no longer invested in Bitcoin. So I'm also going to tell you and be open and transparent because I don't want it to be like some of these crypto scammers who pump and dump coins. I'm going to tell you exactly which ones I'm in and not in. So I am invested in Theta. I do think it's a really good project. I can't give it an S tier yet because we got to see more use cases, but that is really that Avalanche. Have you heard of Avalanche? Avalanche is pretty popular. I find a lot of people who guys love Avalanche or hate Avalanche, and keep in mind, a lot of these coins are trying to solve the same problem. I know a lot of you don't want to hear this. A lot of you think all these coins are going to go to the moon. Most of them are going to go to zero. Most of these things are going to fail, just like in Web 2.0 and Web 1.0, and just business in general. Most businesses fail, most startups fail, most websites fail, most companies fail, uh, most social media accounts fail. Most things fail due to lack of effort, lack of funding, 
uh, lack of clear vision. There's a million reasons why. And so in the top 100 cryptos in 2025 to 2030, most likely 80 of the top 100 are going to be gone. Keep that in mind. I know a lot of you think all these are going to the moon. Most of them are not. Now, Avalanche, programmable smart contract platform for decentralized applications. Now, very important problem to solve. Personally, with Avalanche, I'm not a big fan. I am not invested. There are some other projects that take up the slack. Now, there's a lot of incredible coins that could be on this list. And let me know down below which ones you want to be on part two. I'm already planning on making a part two. Keep in mind, there are not really a lot of direct metaverse coins on this list. The reason why I made a separate metaverse video. So check out my metaverse video where I break down the best coins in the metaverse space. I'm also doing a video on the best privacy coin space. So this is more general. I will be doing a part two to this. So let me know down below which ones you want to see in part two. Avalanche, I'm going to give a C. I'm really not a big fan of. I think it does some things right. I think it does some things wrong. I don't have faith in Avalanche being here in the future. And the fact is, maybe I'm wrong. Let's, let's you know, if you're invested, let's try to prove me wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm going to give it a C. Anchor. Anchor I am invested in. I'm actually pretty heavily invested in. And I think this project is incredible. Web3 Infrastructure cross-chain staking and DeFi. Now, DeFi, a lot of people think is going to be the future. I was in Anchor early, and I've seen a drastic rise. Again, a lot of these coins, people say to a dollar, to five dollars, to a hundred dollars. Guys, it is going to take trillions and trillions of dollars to come in. You look at where the crypto market is and the money in, there's not endless money to come into the crypto. So people have to be willing to invest in a risky asset. You're never going to get institutional money until it is actually regulated problem with regulation is that would kill 50 to 70 percent of all of the altcoins according to most experts and some experts say it could kill all of them which would not be ideal but DeFi is one of the things on the chopping block that the government wants to make illegal and get rid of we've seen several senators recently say they need to make DeFi illegal going into the next year will it happen will it not happen we have no idea I personally hope it does not happen. That would be very unfortunate. I think DeFi is an important part of the way that crypto is supposed to be. But when it comes to Anchor, personally, I'm going to give Anchor an A. I love this project. I see a lot of value there. I see a lot of growth. I personally think that Anchor is going to grow substantially over the next few years. That is my personal belief. I've done a ton of research on it. And uh, based on what I think. Now, again, I can always be wrong, just like you. None of us have a crystal ball. But I'm a huge fan of Anchor, and I would say Anchor is an A. The next one I'm a huge fan of, and that is AMP, to collateralize payments. Now, the reality is I think AMP also has a – it's not as cool. It's not like a new blockchain or a new payment platform in the same regards as some of these others. But I think AMP has a large use case. I think AMP is going to be a large part of the future. And I think AMP is also an A. I do need to – clarify i am heavily invested in amp and i got in super super early it is still a very affordable token but i think the upside of with amp is going to be drastic i'm going to give it an a there's a couple things it has to do to be an s tier and i just don't think it's there personally but that is my personal belief the next one is zcash zcash is one that i was really really excited about in the beginning and Zcash has been a drastic letdown. They were supposed to be more privacy-based. Then they came up with this thing where they're going to be part privacy, part not privacy. Basically, they got scared when the privacy coins were under attack, did an about face, in my opinion. And I think Zcash is a, a good example of when you try to be all things to all people, you become nothing to everybody. And that's Zcash. Zcash is a giant F for failure. Uh, obviously Zcash is still out there and you can buy it, but I think it's a joke. I think it's a failure. And as a privacy advocate, I think it's no good. Now, keep in mind, most of these are not privacy coins, but then the reason I bring up privacy in that, because part of prior privacy is investing and controlling your income and controlling, you know, your, your financial destiny, not relying on jobs, et cetera. And so most of these aren't privacy coins. They solve specific problems, but Zcash was supposed to be a privacy coin. So keep that in mind, the actual privacy coins, the di different video, but for Zcash, trying to be what it's trying to be, a usable currency and something private and anonymous, basically it is a Monero wannabe, 
and it ended up failing in my opinion. Now it's still available, and by failing, I mean failing its core mission, not failing altogether. But I don't see any point in Zcash. I don't see any future in Zcash. Zcash is an F polygon. Polygon, 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 staking on the Polygon network. A lot of you guys have seen some of these Polygon scams and some of these DeFi projects and staking projects. A lot of them have blown up. A lot of them have been piggybacking on Polygon, giving Polygon a bad name, and a lot of them have been promising insane results. Some of them provided some pretty decent results in the staking community, and some of them have been abysmal and blown up. Polygon is basically single-handedly going to get the SEC to regulate DeFi because of the scams and frauds. I think Polygon's an F. I hate this project because of what it's become. I think it had prog I think it had some promise in the beginning. I used to be invested in Polygon. I sold it all because I do not believe in this project. I think it sucks and I don't like what it's doing. And this was one of the ones that when Elizabeth Warren and some of these other senators were saying why DeFi needs to be illegal and it needs to be not just regulated, but literally made illegal. Uh, Polygon was one of the three that they mentioned because of all the scams that are happening on Polygon. So I think Polygon is single-handedly going to hurt the crypto market badly. I think it's going to hurt crypto investors, especially in the DeFi space and the staking space. And I don't think it's got the future that we would like to see. So for me, Polygon is an absolute F. Dogecoin! Oh, Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. Dogecoin was an interesting social experiment. Dogecoin for me is an absolute F. I think it's a joke. I think meme coins suck. And I think that Dogecoin was an interesting social experiment. It was able to go all the way to one of the most powerful men in the world. Obviously, Elon Musk got involved. So many people got involved. And the fact is Dogecoin's still hanging around. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. But, um, and there was a lot of interesting stories of people selling everything to get in Doge. They made a bunch of money. They lost a bunch of money. The guy who became the first alleged Dogecoin millionaire now is almost broke again. It was kind of sad to see. He thought it was going to go up. He, he tripled down on Dogecoin right before it collapsed and it keeps crashing. So, uh, you know, Dogecoin is interesting. It's kind of like the social experiments we saw with, uh, some of the wall street bets and some of those other things. It's always interesting to see people come together on something. But as a crypto, it's an absolute F. I, w I didn't. I I wouldn't recommend investing in it. I you know it, it's definitely not for me. But anyway, Dogecoin's an F, and I you know I like the social experiment side. But as far as crypto, and again, the problem with touting meme coins and touting these projects is it's basically a big F you to the politicians and to the SEC. And while that may sound like a fun time, and I'm, I'm on board for that as much as anybody, if you don't do it strategically, you're giving them a reason to regulate the hell out of this stuff. And you do not want that, I can assure you, because while you think, oh, there's nothing they can do, they could make it illegal for you to access it and use it. And you do not want that. You do not want new regulatory bodies. You don't want all these things. So, and the, the crypto community has proven itself to be very, shy and timid and scared and afraid and weak and hiding in the shadows. And while these governments are regulating crypto and starting to put massive, massive laws on crypto, the crypto community is not doing anything. And it's very sad to see. I wish the crypto community was mo more vocal, but they're not. And because of that, you're going to cost yourself a lot. So Dogecoin, while I love the social side, I hate what, you know, the big uh, battle back and forth because it basically says, see, this is exactly why we need to regulate it because these are memes. These are scams. These are frauds right in our face. These are billion dollar frauds and this is causing a problem. So coins with no utility at all. I'm not a big fan of now people say, well, you know, Elon said you could buy a Tesla guys a day late and a dollar short Dogecoin sucks. It's an F Solana. Oh, Solana, it's an Ethereum competitor. I am invested. I got a pretty small position. I do have to say I got into Solana late. I saw it coming, but I wasn't fully on board. There's some other ones I'm on board with, but I did get into Solana, but I got into Solana late, so I don't have a very big position. However, I do think it's got a lot of promise. I do think it is a big player in the future. And I do think right now you got to give Solana an S. I, I, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Solana, I think with what they're doing, if I'm being fair, I got to give them an S because there are some issues and I could see some problems and some issues from my angle and from my point of view. But if we're being fair, it is a top tier project. It is blown up. It has exploded. It shows a lot of promise. It is basically the next version and it is going to give 
Ethereum some serious problems. So I think that while it is just, it started as kind of another Me Too, because there's a thousand Me Too Ethereum wannabe projects, but this is one that actually has meat on the bone. This is one that can actually do some damage. S tier for sure. S tier for sure. Sidecoin, you know, decentralized storage platform secured by the blockchain. I'm a huge fan of Sidecoin. I have a pretty large position because I think that this is important. I think that storage platforms, you know, it's it's not cool. Again, it's not a it's not its own blockchain. It's not its own network. It's not its own payment processor. It's not the next Bitcoin or Ethereum, but it solves an actual problem. And I think it's something that you guys should look into. I think the future for this project is going to be slow going, but I think it's going to continuously go up. Obviously, in the short term, it's going to have its ups and downs. All crypto does that. But I, I got in really early. I think it's got a massive upside. These kind of projects are desperately needed. And I think in the next big run, this coin is going to explode. And I'm a huge fan of this. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an A. It's not perfect but it is better than most and so i think sidecoin is pretty awesome i'm yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give it an a I, i'm absolutely gonna give it a i o t e x i o t e x i have a large position in this privacy centric blockchain for infrastructure for iot now i do have to admit i'm as a privacy advocate as security advocate as the guy who goes ghost as a guy who trains people worldwide how to build a ghost business ghost life I'm not a big fan of the Internet of Things. I'm not a big fan of these modern-day Skynets that you see with some of these devices. However, the Internet Things is here to stay. It is going to play a pivotal role. And there are some things on IOTEX that are very, very, very impressive. And, you know, I'm a huge fan of this project. Again, this is a project that solves a fundamental problem. To me, this project is S-tier because I like where it's going. It's not perfect. None of these projects are perfect. But I think I have to, if I'm going to be fair, give this project an S tier. This is one of my favorites on this list, with the exception of maybe Theta. And, uh, well, there's a couple. There's probably four or five that are my favorites, Monero, uh, a few of them. But this one is definitely up there. And I'm going to have to go ahead and give this an S tier. It's one I recommend you guys look into, check, see if it's a good fit for you. But it is going to be around in the future. It does solve a legitimate problem v chain v chain is another one of my favorites in my opinion v chain is an s tier it's actually one of the few cryptos that china has adopted and sees value in basically in the e-commerce space which is a space i've been in for over a decade now and it is authenticating products and kind of the future of what's going to happen on the blockchain these technological Logistic systems and some of these other systems where you could tie in directly. I think VeChain has an enormous future. I mean, just beyond measure, I think VeChain. VeChain is absolutely S tier, in my opinion. I don't even think there's a question on that. And, you know, I think VeChain is uh, going to be a staple. I think it's going to be a staple. And I think that you're going to continue to see some substantial growth when it hits its stride. I think VeChain is going to blow out of stratosphere. So VeChain is definitely S tier. HBAR. HBAR is a very popular one. HBAR is trying to be a decentralized public network. HBAR is trying to be a lot of things. HBAR is trying to be the next big thing. HBAR wants to take over every crypto. A lot of people overhype HBAR. I, I got to admit, I'm actually invested a decent amount in HBAR. I've got a decent little holding of HBAR. I like it. I think it has a future, but I'm going to have to give it a C. I think it is way overhyped. I think it is not there yet. I think that it's got a long way to go to prove itself. And even though I've invested some of my money because I do hope for the future, right now when it comes to HBAR, I'm going to give HBAR a C because I'm not as impressed as I would like to be with all the hype around this one and then what's actually happening. So even though I've put some money in, I do have to be fair and I try to be as fair as possible based on objective point of view on these lists. I don't just try to throw in my favorite and say, oh, my favorites are the best and things I don't like suck. That's not true. This one, I've got a solid amount of money in. I'm, I'm really hopeful that it does well. I've made some money in it. I've lost some, I've done some cost averaging, but the reality is, I don't know. I'm still I'm still on the fence with H bar, so I think a C is about as fair as I could be with this one. Algo, Algo Rand. 
Ethereum project improving likability and security. Now, Algo's cool because of the staking of, of earning Algo by having Algo. And of course, staking is, you know, substantial in a lot of cryptos. I've got a bit of Algo. I don't have a large position. In fact, I've, I think I've only got maybe a, a thousand or 2000 coins. I don't have a large position of Algo, but I do have, you know, so I think at the current market value, that's a, I mean, let's say I got maybe like 2,500 bucks in Algo, like something, a reasonably small position, but I will say it is a cool project. I'm not all in on this project, obviously, but I'm not all out. I think there's potential. I think there's a solid future. I think, you know, it, it, when it focuses on linkability, when it focuses on security, when it focuses on the future, what could be, it's it's actually put together by some very smart people. And I think that's what's kind of keeping me around uh, this project. I think it potentially has a good future. I'm going to give it a B. I'm not blown away, but I'm very hopeful and I think that there is some future, although I am starting to wonder with some of these coins, have they kind of peaked out? Have they started? Because of the lack of progress with some of these coins, I think some people are starting to lose interest in some of these, and rightfully so. So Algo right now, I, I think I can only give a B, even though I am hopeful, because we need to see more. And that's the problem with a lot of these coins in the crypto space is we need to see more. You know, investing and making a couple bucks and seeing a coin go up a little bit is fine, but that's only going to last in the short term. If these projects don't start producing something people are gonna start pulling their money and you're gonna start seeing a lot of these die on a vine and that's what's gonna happen and this people need to understand that so you know crypto is very risky and you need to invest at your own risk because while you can make a lot of money you can also lose a lot of money so keep that in mind al goes a b in my opinion shiba inu big dog cruising coming through shibu now, you just heard me diss Doge, so you might be thinking, well, why, how, how can you, you can't possibly praise Shibu if you diss Doge. Shibu is a very interesting use case. So Doge was a social experiment. Sheep came out kind of as a Doge killer, but then it started adding utility things famously like Shiba Swap and then Leash and Bone and all these other things. Then it started to try to add utility. And then, of course, like most tokens that got into the NFT game, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it would be nice to launch something with utility. And this is a fairly new project. I think it's at the time I'm filming this, it's far less than two years old, maybe a year and a half. And so it has grown substantially. I got into Shibu early. I've made a chunk of change on Shibu because I saw the big picture early. I thought this thing was going to do something, and it has. And I'm staying in Shibu. Now, I've made some money, but I'm staying in. I'll, I'll go to the moon or I'll go to zero. To me, the money I threw in Shibu, I was willing to lose every penny just to see what happens. It's the one coin like this I picked. I said, I'm not, I'm not the guy. I mean, I got four kids, man. I got, you know, uh, responsibilities like everyone else. I'm not just going to be throwing money out willy nilly. So I said, I'm going to give myself a chunk of change. I'm going to slap it on Shibu Inu, and then that's it. I'm not going to pull it out until it does something substantial or until it goes to zero. I'm willing to lose it all because it was kind of like a, a game to me. I don't recommend that unless you have, you know, the money to do that, but I do that. And, and it was the one I picked. I'm going to give Shibu realistically a C. We got to be honest. We got to be fair. It's not an incredible project. It doesn't have groundbreaking stuff, but it is way better than the average meme token. And I think there could be a, a social experiment that rallies around a real project. Do I think Shibu's going to go to a dollar? No. I mean, the, the math on that is ridiculous. Could it go to could it go to 10 cents? I mean, it would have to have a war cry that you've never seen in crypto for something like that to happen. But, you know, I think could it go to a penny? Oh, that might be something that's potentially possible. But I think a lot of people underestimate how insane Shibu would have to be just to go to one penny, let alone 10 cents, let alone $1. It also could very easily go to zero, and its heyday could be in the past. That is very, very likely, so keep that in mind. I'm going to give it a C, and we'll see what happens in the future. Monero! I don't even need to say nothing about Monero. Monero is probably one of the most important cryptos on this list. Privacy coin. I've done... Monero is so important that I've done three or four in-depth, detailed tutorials on Monero on my channel. You can check those out. S-tier, without even... A question the first s tier the best of the s tier privacy coins are what i've said this before monero is what bitcoin should have been monero is what crypto should be 
Privacy first. Privacy is everything. Anonymity is everything. Taking your identity, taking your life, and, and keeping it secure. Everything doesn't need to be open and funneled into these intelligence agencies like most of these cryptocurrencies. Most of these cryptocurrencies are sur- big, big brother and big surveillance on steroids. So Monero's an S tier. I mean, there's not even anything else I can say about that. It is just a matter of fact. It's not a matter of opinion. It's a matter of what crypto should have been. Monero, that's what it should have been. That's what it all should be. It all should be privacy focused, in my opinion. XLM. Now, XLM, I've been in for a while. I got in very early, then I got out, but then I got in right after that. Never should have got out, but I only lost a little, but I'm I'm definitely in on XLM. Open source blockchain network, optimized payments, and digital assets. XLM has a bright future. In my opinion, XLM, we, we do need to see more from the payment processing. We need to see more from all of crypto. But I'm going to give XLM an A. I think you kind of have to. It is just a steady eddy, stellar lumens, uh, just on it. It's just on it. And I, I feel like if crypto does anything, and I think it will, and I think a lot of people think it will, but if it does anything, XLM will play a role. Now, the SEC has talked about filing suit against XLM. They've also talked about filing suit against Ethereum recently. They've also talked about filing suit against uh, a handful of crypto coins on this list. But I think XLM's an A. I think the future is stellar. And I'm invested. And uh, I, I think it's got a bright future. Cardano, ADA. Now, for a while, Cardano was just on every news feed. Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. We've seen the the people at Cardano saying Cardano is going to go to ten dollars. Cardano is going to go to a hundred dollars. Cardano is going to go to a thousand dollars. Cardano is going to go to a trillion dollars. <laughs> okay, maybe not a trillion, but they're way over hyping Cardano. Now I am invested in Cardano, and I did get in fairly early, not super early, but reasonably early. I got in around uh, I think twenty cents is where I got in, and I've got a decent position. However, you know. The thing with Cardano is next generation evolution of Ethereum. They're going to be better in every way. The guys are out there touting that they're just going to be the next big thing, but we've yet to see it. So, you know, I'm going to give Cardano a B, even though I'm invested, even though I'm hopeful, even though I think that, you know, there's a chance these guys could do something someday. I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. And I'm, I'm hopeful that it happens and I'm hopeful that they prove me wrong and, and big things happen. You know, it's always like this person got a small contract with Western. Yeah, this person got it's like, guys, we need to see some some adoption. Some, so everyone's getting these partnerships. You ever notice in crypto where there's all these partnerships? Where's the use cases? Where's the actual like there's all this hype. There's all this hoopla. There's all this talk. There's all these partnerships. Like, let's see some stuff actually happen. And so Cardano, if you really want to be big money, big price, everything's just good. It's just be coming around the mountain when she comes. Like we're always this close to this close to being this close to it explode all to the moon. Yeah, right. So Cardano's a B at best. XRP. XRP is a D. Why is XRP a D? Listen, you might be surprised to hear me say D because I was gangbusters on XRP. I got into XRP when it was like five cents <laughs> and I was pushing hard. I was doing videos a couple years ago on XRP. I was pushing 200 people email me about XRP, making money, going to the moon. But with the lawsuit, I've lost a lot of faith. Now I hope they win. I hope things move forward. I don't necessarily believe in Brad Garlinghouse. I don't necessarily believe in a lot of the crap they're saying. They had people going out saying they believe XRP is going to be 10,000 a coin. These guys are on some happy pills, and it's not going to go that way. Look at the supply of XRP. Is all the money in the world going to go into XRP? No, it is not. So I think XRP is the D. Maybe if they win the lawsuit and show me something, it'll go up the list. I am invested in XRP. I am. I was a huge XRP bull, but I want to see some movement. I want to see something happen. It seems like backroom deals and backroom handshakes, so it's a D until it gets better. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Like Put out new videos all the time. Go all in everything you do. Let me know down below what you think, what would be on your list, what would be on my next list, because I'm going to be making 2.0 of this list very, very soon. I just wanted to touch on some of the most popular cryptos. Have an amazing day, guys. Go all in everything you do, and I'll see you in the next video.